Hello yeah, viewers, Troy from Troy's Digital Arts channel yeah, It's been quite a while since I last done some work on this Aster FP radio Well I've been doing a little bit of work here and there um, to be quite honest um, But it's just been far and few in between due to motivational issues due, Which usually happens when I hit stumbling blocks and I'm too confused Yeah, the biggest problem I've been facing is um, I've been just making sure that the circuitry is all correct and I've just been tracing out through the circuits um, um, you know from component to component and um, yeah just been tracing along the schematic with a red pin but yeah it's just been some of the some of the components are just just don't quite conform to the circuit diagram given and then again it's like later on i found that they do and i kind of you know just misinterpreted the 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 physical components in um reading the circuitry but yeah i've um i've actually learned a few things um like there's just some components that really confuse the crap out of me um particularly these two uh components here which i thought were were coils but they actually are wire wound capacitors so yeah, I learned a few few new things, and yeah, I've got the circuitry mostly traced out, and most of it's looking correct. But there are some grey areas that are still bugging me, um, particularly these coils here. But pretty much all the components I replaced, I replaced them accurately as possible, making sure that I yeah that I that I don't make the wrong connections and. Where all the where pretty much all the components that I've replaced are, it's all it pretty much all traces out correctly. I'm now uh, I'm going to be in the process of uh, putting the putting some of the the big parts back on. Um, I've already put the speaker back on, and I've uh, re replaced the uh, dried up, crusty uh, grommets with uh, new grommets. Um, these grommets are a lot. Yeah, you know, the hole's a lot wider, but it still seems to work, at least for the speaker anyhow. So the speaker's now connected, and it's it's uh, the grommets seem to be doing the job at absorbing shock, so it won't vibrate the chassis, which I assume that's why grommets are used uh, um, for the bases of the uh, speaker and the uh, tuning capacitor. Hey, yeah. So yeah, these are just uh, grommets I bought from J-Car. They look to be doing the job, so I'm pretty happy with that. Anyhow, yeah, I'm going to be, uh, I've just put the speaker on, I'm going to put the capacitor on, going to rewire it all up, got to put the uh, transformer on, the, uh, I assume this is a choke, which is uh, there. So I'm going to put all these components back on and, um, yeah, wire it all back up. And uh, after that, after I get it all back together, next step would be to uh, get the valves tested. We'd, I do have a mate who has a valve tester who's part of the ham radio club, uh, my local ham radio club. So I'll get him to test those valves. And um, if any need replacing, I'll replace them and... Yeah, once I get the radio put together, valves back on and everything like that, it'll be testing time. But in the meantime, yeah, I'm, yeah, I have to try and somehow uh, figure out the uh, coils there that I'm just confused on. And at the end of the day, um, yeah, I think I'd probably, probably be okay just putting it all back together and, and uh, yeah, testing it just insert voltage and just with the variac and just wind it up and till I hear some noise uh, and if any components are going to blow they'll blow of course but yeah just as long as I don't just put straight 240 volts into into this it, it shouldn't suffer too much if anything's wired around badly yeah hey, uh, I'm just just go. I'm just speaking my mind here. 
Oh, uh, yeah, just I'll message uh, my mate uh, John Hunter of Cool386 and just see what he's got to say. All right. Well, yeah, um, yeah so it's time to start putting this radio back together and, um, yeah, I'll update you in the next video. This is Troy from Troy's Digital Arts Channel signing out.